Hello, this is Sunday. It's about 5.30 a.m. If you're smart, you're still in bed. If you're not, you're doing dumb stuff like this. So, slept on, cutting the floor out of the bus, and decided that there's no other option, I have to do it. Because that thing has gotta go in there. And I caught some flack for uh, cutting up a bus already, which is early, but that's fine. And I figured I'd show a few things about this monster. First off, it was a piece of junk. Like, it's all rusted out, the wall can's cut out, the pedestals both need replaced because they're rusted out. There's a hole in the roof because a tree laid on it for about 20 years. Glass is all junk. I mean, it's it's a turd. It was full of Bondo and then painted with house paint. So, I don't feel bad cutting it up. Hopefully it'll live again if I am successful. If not, then we'll make a tree house out of it or something. I don't know. So, anyhow, just thought I would address... Uh, why I'm chopping up such a pristine bus because it ain't so pristine. It's a big old piece of junk. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Previously, I talked about cutting a hole in the floor about five seconds ago. And I jumped on eBay and <laughs> bought more Sawzall blades because Sawzall blades are really expensive. These are supposedly Linux blades that are not branded. We'll find out if I got ripped off and all the teeth fall off the first second, but I'm gonna give these guys a shot. I'm gonna start by cutting basically from the toolbox back because the engine's gonna fall about right here. So I think I can leave the front of the toolbox in place and then just build some kind of hump and box it in, in the back here. But I'm gonna start with the toolbox and cut back to the first cross member and just take that square out and then mock up the engine again and see how close we are. So, time to get to hacking. All the hacking is done, I think. You can see I salt out this little cube here, which is fun with the frame rails. Let's see how crusty everything is down here. Again, not a nice bus. So, it's kind of wedged a little bit. I'm going to have this I beam here. I'm just going to lower the lift and see if that'll just. Push that straight up, so we'll see how that goes. The aftermath, and this obviously was a great deal of fun. Again, I don't even know what's in here. It's just full of sediment, I'm just waiting to rust everything out. I'm sure that one is too. And we just placed a large number of mice, former mouse nest, which all landed in my hair, so that was cool. Really enjoyed that. But we have a hole, so I think I'll clean up this mess and roll that mess back up here and see where it lands. So let's do that fun task, which I'm going to love.
This is going incredibly smooth compared to what I thought it would. Pretty, pretty stoked about how this fits in there. How little space it takes up. And if we go underneath, we can see, I think there's gonna be enough room for something with the shifter, some kind of bell crank set up to make that work. But otherwise it fits pretty well. It does hang down kind of low, but it is what it is. I can't really do much about that situation. And again, I mean, this is not gonna be like a strictly off-road vehicle, so I'm not as concerned. I can skid plate up the bottom and do something with that or lower the axle just a little bit more. It's not really any room to raise the transmission engine without getting way into the passenger compartment. So, but otherwise everything fits pretty well. I need to consider doing something different with the intake and also maybe redoing the valve cover uh, to make the oil fill lower. But otherwise, it really does not take up that much space in the pasture compartment. So, pretty good. So, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up today. Shorter video. It's still only 7.30 in the morning. And, uh, I is living in there. I've been kind of standing here staring at it, contemplating what to do. I think I'm going to try to engineer the front seat. To actually fold into like a rock and roll style bed, if you're familiar with that, like what's in the back of a usual camper bus, what would normally be back there. Put that up here so that this space can be like a cabinet. I'm not real sure. Need to measure a lot more before I commit to anything. But And then all this space back here will be flat floor back a lot further so we can make more living space there. And with pop top, you'll want to stand up into the top too. So, otherwise the pop top would be directly over the bed. So when the bed's out, you couldn't really stand. So I'm thinking this way, I'll be able to have more standing space with the top up and the doors closed. But it's just a matter of engineering how these front seats will work, especially with that intake sticking up. I really need to think about maybe machining a different intake or doing something to drop the profile of that intake and drop the profile of the oil fill. But that's uh, something to think about. Also, maybe do a remote oil filter to free up some space over there. We'll see exactly what works. But so far, that's it. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully, have some video tomorrow of figuring out a subframe so this engine can actually sit in here and be suspended by the bus. So that's what's next. We'll see you.